In this video, I am going to look at how to find the equation of a tangent to a parabola both using Cartesian coordinates and also using parametric coordinates. The most important thing to remember is you are not to memorize these equations. Sometimes in the exam, the equation is actually given to you and the question will say show that the equation of the tangent is this. So it is not expected of you to memorize these equations. It is expected of you to know how to derive them. So let's start with the Cartesian form. Now, to find the equation of any line, we need a gradient and a point. Then we can use y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So I have a point, x1, y1. All I need is the gradient. So how do we go about finding gradient? By differentiating. So first thing is to find the gradient. I am going to rearrange my equation y equals x squared over 4a that results in y dash equals x over 2a now that's the gradient at any point I'm looking for gradient at x equals x1 so therefore, at x equals x1, gradient is x1 over 2a. Now that I have the gradient, I can find the equation of tangent. I am going to use one of my favorite equations, y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 so I already have y1 and x1 in my equation all I am doing is substituting the gradient x1 over 2a of outside of x minus x1 I am going to multiply the left hand side by 2a and I end up with 2a y minus y1 equals x1x minus x1 squared and of course I could rearrange further and rewrite my equation in terms of y or any other combination depends what the question specifically is asking so that's straightforward let's look at the parametric version of the same question. So we're going to have find the equation of the tangent to x squared equals 4ay. But now I am going to give the coordinate of the point in its parametric form. Now remembering x is 2a, in this case I'm using p, and y is a p squared. As before, first step is to find the gradient. But now, my x value is 2 a p. So when I substitute 2 a p, I get something really interesting my y dash which in this case now I can write as m specifically at the point 2ap over 2a results in p and in my last video I mentioned there is a reason why we pick this specific relationship for our parametric equation the parameter is actually the gradient at the point I'm interested in. So that t is the gradient at any point and p is the gradient at the specific point. And so essentially parametric equation of a parabola 
connects x and y coordinates of the point to the gradient of the curve at that point. We bring those three information together. Having said that, again, you can't just assume in your questions, in your solutions, that gradient is P. For a question like this, you cannot skip these lines and just write M equals P. You have to produce the working at because the course we do is all about communicating your understanding of the concepts. So I have the gradient. Now I can write the equation of the tangent. I am going to use my equation y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. And now I need to substitute for y1 and x1 the parametric versions. So y minus ap squared is px minus 2ap. I am going to expand. So y minus ap squared is px minus 2ap squared. So y is px minus ap squared. Again, while this is an important equation and it's not too hard to memorize, you are expected to be able to derive this equation every single time.